Dr. Bentz, our Chief Academic Officer, if you could maybe start us off and pass off to some of your team members to give some more details on uh, our district strategies for remote learning in this second phase. I just want to say that uh, this first three days of phase two of the remote learning has just been uh, fabulous and beyond what we could have hoped for. We're so impressed by the work that our teachers have been doing and the work that our families have been doing to support students through this transitional time. Um, you know, through phase two, one of the things that is different for us is we are presenting new content to students during this time. And so parents and students will notice some opportunities for new content moving forward. Our curriculum teams did um, work to provide some ideas for remote learning options that we felt like would work well from kind of a remote way, um, as well as some different ideas for students to demonstrate their learning. And you know, it really varies as you think about elementary students to high school students. Um, the ways that students are gonna demonstrate their learning are different. So for example, I have a fourth grade girl in my house and she is creating some Google Slides where she's writing down the things that she's learning and submitting them to her teacher each week. Where my high schooler is using Google Classroom and he is submitting assignments much like he would have done in a traditional setting. So it's been really impressive the different ways that our teachers are meeting the um, unique needs of their students. And I'm gonna hand it off to Kimberly to talk about what that looks like with our special programs. We are uh, very excited about the plans that our um, special program staff is pushing out to support our students. Um, our teachers continue to collaborate with their general ed counterparts just to make sure that we have really great plans. Um, our related services providers are also starting um, to provide those services through Zoom. Um, we are working really closely uh, with each other to look at each individual IEP to figure out what are the strategies that are reasonable and accessible for each of our students uh, while they're at home uh, trying to continue their learning. So we are very excited about the hard work of all of our teachers, um, as well as our instructional assistants and just the level of collaboration, um, working together to problem solve um, and communicate with our families. Uh, we're really excited to continue learning with our students. First of all, just a big shout out to my team, as well as all of our teaching and learning uh, counterparts. It really was a collaborative effort, curating the best resources to go on to this parent resource hub. And uh, the top banner of that says it's designed to provide supplemental academic and student mental health and wellness resources. And it really is a supplemental um, hub for parents. So it doesn't replace what the teachers are um, asking our, their students to do, but it's really about those students and parents that want supplemental resources.